So here is the wig. This wig is from Eva Wigs and I'm gonna put all of the information in the description box. It is a full lace wig and this is what the inside looks like. It has the adjustable strap that I also love and then it has a middle part but of course you see how it's like full lace right here so you can put the part wherever you want but I'm gonna leave the middle part because I'm digging it. I've been digging middle parts. So I'm simply gonna just go from the back because it's already adjusted and I don't wanna move it and I'm gonna place that part like right where my part meets. And I think that that cap works out good with this unit actually. So I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit more, align it with my part, pull some hair over a little more. And um, I like this, look at this. I think this is going to be cute. And I really didn't do much. I mean, when the wig came, it was a little bit tightly coiled, which it still is, but that's kind of how my hair is. But I just ran my finger through it. I don't want to do it anymore because I don't want to make it bigger. But I just ran my fingers through it and just added a little bit more volume. And I'll turn around and show you what the back looks like. That's it. And I like it i'm going to take my mac 210 brush though and i'm going to use my concealer palette by mac and i use the deepest color in this palette place concealer like right there right by the part i don't put it on top of the net because we don't want to draw not net i don't put it on top of the lace because we don't want to draw attention to the lace we only want to draw attention to the part so I'm gonna put a little bit up here too. Back here though. I don't need a lot of concealer up here because that wig cap underneath makes it a little bit lighter anyway. So I don't really need to add concealer right there. And I'm not like a vet. I'm not a guru on hair wigs or anything like that. But I'm telling you guys, you know, I'm showing you as I learn and I'm showing you the techniques that I use. So there is the wig. And I mean, that part is really natural. Look at that awesome and that's how it looks oh my gosh i might wear this to imat too i really might because i really like it okay so anyway we're gonna do the lips now <laughs> i like this wig. i like it a lot even wigs i'm gonna put all the information below you guys and make sure that you follow me on instagram because i'm pretty sure i'm about to post a picture like as soon as i'm done i think i'm gonna use chestnut but i might change it so let's just see how that works out let's try peach tart first like i said let's see how that works Mmm, that's cute. We're gonna go, she cute. It does dry matte, but you can work with it a little bit before it sets. And it's starting to set. And that's it. And if it gets too dry for you during the day or throughout your wear and you wanna add a lip gloss to it, you can totally do that. But this is it, you guys. You have an awesome, blessed day. And I will see you sooner than you think. Bye.